good morning children yesterday we started now we are discussing food and health lesson so how to we have to take a balanced diet so a balanced diet if you are take if we are taking a balanced diet means we will uh, become strong and healthy so we are regularly doing exercise means we are keeping fit so the topics completed to the topic diseases sometimes we fall sick no so diseases how many types of diseases are there so how to escape from these diseases okay diseases so uh, sometimes we fall sick when we fall sick means our body and our mind also uh, unable to do work so our uh, uneasy we are feeling very uneasy our mind also properly not working our body also uh, can't do anything so uh, our body and our mind also unable to do anything so uh, a disease a disease is an uh, abnormal condition which our body is not functioning properly so a disease is an abnormal condition which our body is not functioning properly that is called a, a disease so uh, a di disease means uh, our body not doing any work we fall sick we are very dull so here uh, we get a disease means only reasons are there so some diseases are uh, caused uh, from uh, lack of vitamins and minerals that particular lack of vitamins and minerals have means we will get uh, disease so many reasons are there we are taking properly food means we, we are looking very we are uh, healthy we are uh, very healthy so here uh, especially some diseases uh, are there uh, like uh, uh, diabetes and arthritis diabetes arthritis so these diseases uh, especially in our body one particular part stops the functioning so these diseases uh, have means in in our body that one part particular one part stops the functioning that is one cause of this disease and uh, uh, some uh, la uh, defi deficiencies uh, some deficiency the one cause of deficiency or uh, particular uh, lack of particular minerals and vitamins uh, in our body uh, lack of uh, some particular minerals and vitamins uh, in our body so uh, we are uh, we are taking healthy food means we can't get uh, disease so this lack of vitamins and particular minerals uh, have means we will fall sick we will get diseases these are all are some reasons of diseases so here uh, lack of uh, deficiency means here these type of uh, diseases we are called deficiency diseases so here deficiency diseases lack of particular uh, vitamins and minerals uh, in our body these diseases are called deficiency diseases deficiency diseases deficiency diseases so these diseases um, classified these diseases classified into two types okay these diseases classified into two types deficiency diseases are classified into two types one uh, uh, communicable diseases and another one non communicable diseases okay two types they are classified into two types okay one communicable diseases communicable diseases non communicable diseases non communicable with diseases so what is the differentiation between communicable diseases and non communicable diseases first of all we know very well uh, we get some diseases like uh, uh, night blindness beriberi scurvy rickets uh, cold uh, uh, like fever cholera okay jaundice like different different 
different types of diseases are there so first of all communicable diseases means uh, when you are touching uh, and we are uh, uh, moving with uh, that uh, patient uh, who got that type of uh, disease means we have to uh, living together we have to touch and we have to use their things uh, like kerchief towels clothes when we are using means one person got cold so we are freely uh, closely we are moving with that person means we will get that disease that that disease uh, uh, one person to another person it easily uh, um, changes it easily going to one person to another person closely when we are moving means we will get that disease it passes one person to another person easily that type of disease is called communicable diseases mainly now we are facing that very dangerous corona disease no suddenly it occurred in this year only we are suffering so much and so much in this it is speedily um, uh, speedily one person to another uh, is passing that disease no so when we have that's why we are always Uh, using mask and hand sanitizer, hand sanitizers and hand washers. We are wearing gloves. We are in taking so much precautions uh, due to this corona disease. So uh, this uh, in this corona disease, cold, uh, cough. The when we are talking uh, uh, in front of uh, some other some another person also have means we are talking with that person means uh, that. Uh, um, as uh, uh, what is that uh, talking means that um, water uh, vapors going in uh, in front of that person corona have means we are also get that corona disease that's why we have to use that mask uh, we have to touch that things that corona disease person touching that uh, uh, things we are also touching means we will get corona disease a uh, very dangerous first that is uh, contaminated to uh, that cold only no cold and cough mainly fever also so that's why we are taking so many precautions we are always using the uh, masks and hand sanitizers and um, eye glasses scarves so many precautions we are using that disease is called a communicable disease so communicable diseases non communicable diseases non communicable diseases means uh, these diseases can't go passed one person to another person if we are touching uh, we are moving closely we, we are using that person things means only nothing will happen so these type of uh, diseases we are called uh, non communicable diseases these diseases called uh, night blindness beriberi scurvy rickets anemia like that diseases Uh, we don't uh, get this disease from one person to another person. These type of diseases we are called uh, non-communicable diseases. Okay, children, I hope you understand. So today we are discussing about non-communicable diseases. So first of all, uh, non-communicable diseases means first one night blindness. non communicable diseases first of all night blindness what is the night blindness we can't see that dim light so uh, that person uh, morning to evening uh, morning he will see very well but in the evening 6 to night totally he can't see in this dim light he is become blind so can't see in that dim light that is called a night blindness this is this disease uh, caused by the uh, lack of deficiency uh, like a vitamin lack of a vitamin the deficiency of a vitamin the night blindness occurs so vitamin a deficiency of vitamin a so we have to escape that night blindness means we have to eat uh, 
good food the rich contains in which vitamin a contains in that food only we have to eat like vitamin a means especially uh, carrots le green leafy vegetables okay uh, green leafy vegetables green leafy leafy green leafy vegetables green leafy vegetables okay mango carrot so mango carrot papaya tomato tomato butter okay milk fish uh egg yolk yellow color hand that is called egg yolk rich in these sources egg yolk rich in these sources we have to eat this type of food items means we will escape from this night of blindness okay children so green leafy vegetables and mango carrot papaya tomato butter milk fish egg yolk in these sources rich contains in this a vitamin so we have to uh, eat this type of food food means we have to escape from this uh, night blindness okay next very 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 this is also one type of disease very very so deficiency of b1 vitamin b1 vitamin we will get this okay okay this uh, vitamin deficiency this is caused by the deficiency of b1 vitamin this very very vitamin uh, so we have to escape this uh, uh, this uh, escape this uh, uh, this is means we have to uh, eat unpolished rice uh, we are when you are getting uh, rice means nowadays we will get polished rice no better to eat unpolished rice so unpolished rice unpolished rice and milk meat peas cereals and green vegetables green vegetables so we will uh, eat on polished rice and we will drink milk we will eat meat and peas cereals cereals like uh, jowar bajra okay uh, like uh, um, wheat rice jowar bajra rice already on polished rice no uh, cereals means jowar bajra wheat like uh, very uh, ingredients like that the peas peas you know very well green vegetables okay all green vegetables if you are eating means you will escape that this is a very very okay next scurvy scurvy so this is scurvy this is this is deficiency of vitamin c caused by the deficiency of vitamin c okay c vitamin so uh, in this uh, disease we are seeing uh, bleeding of gums teeth uh, here gums have no uh, we are not eating proper uh, c vitamin food means it caused uh, it uh, effect on our teeth the gums bleeding of gums sometimes we are brushing uh, uh, hardly means we will get blood in that uh, gums and uh, uh, next to joint our bones also uh, become very uh, soft okay and uh, swelling of uh, joints and swelling of joints uh, like this joints have means sometimes it swelling of joints also swelling of joints and bleeding of gums so uh, we have to eat uh, rich source in c vitamin food 
like citrus fruits uh, like uh, um, citrus fruits orange lemon okay c vitamin amla rich source in tomato like uh, we fruits and vegetables we are eating means we will get c vitamin citrus fruits oranges uh, like uh, amla a lemon lemon seed citrus vitamin only no lemon juice we are mostly drink like that so here citrus fruits citrus fruits okay amla tomato amla tomato and green leaf vegetables green leafy vegetables green leafy vegetables potato potato pulses and sporting grains sporting seeds okay sporting seeds also sporting sprouted seeds okay Potted seeds also rich sources in this vitamin C. Especially citrus fruits we are eating means we will uh, escape from this scurvy diseases. Okay, children, hope you understand. So next rickets. Scurvy after rickets. This disease caused by uh, deficiency of vitamin D. Vitamin D rickets. So uh, in this uh, diseases, our bones become soft. So lack of this uh, vitamin D have means our big bones become very soft. So, uh, in this uh, minerals and uh, uh, vitamins and uh, minerals, so we have to take that uh, D vitamin. Uh, when we, we have to, uh, early morning we have to sit in, in the uh, sunshine. So, we will get a D vitamin. So, uh, especially we have to, our uh, calcium, uh, potassium, we have to take uh, much calcium potassium sulfur uh, phosphorus in these items food we are taking means our bones become strong uh, lack of uh, deficiency of this vitamin d means our bones become soft that's why we have to eat uh, vitamins minerals and that phosphorus sulfur calcium uh, like this food we are eating means our bones become strong and our teeth also become hard so our teeth and bones become strong means we have to take calcium calcium phosphorus uh, next to potassium calcium phosphorus potassium so we have to uh, drink more milk okay drink milk in this milk uh, rich in calcium so calcium milk and its products milk and uh, milk products okay milk products milk and milk products rich in this uh, milk and milk products calcium rich in this milk and milk products so uh, rickets so tomorrow we will continue this uh, another anemia goiter okay the type of diseases today read the lesson enough homework okay Okay, thought
that's it today topic okay so this calcium and phosphorus makes our bones and teeth become strong okay that's why we have to take that food okay you have to read this topic only today enough thank you